In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective man beater out of the gun tight formation. I think the gun tight is kind of becoming the clear cut best offense in Madden 23. And today we're going to be showing you a really good reason as to why that is the case. Now, if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and the link is down in the description. We're in the Washington Commanders Offensive Playbook, and we're going to be going over the play gun tight, and really my personal favorite play in the formation this year is slot post. Slot post allows us the ability to cook man-to-man -man coverage. You cannot defend this play with man coverage. It also provides us a unique ability to be able to uh, create actually really good spacing with our routes. So we're going to be utilizing the play slot post, and you don't need any hot route abilities whatsoever. You don't need slot apprentice, outside apprentice, hot, hot route master, backfield master. You don't need any of those things to run this play. Now, what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we are going to put the outside left receiver on a streak. We are going to put the inside slot receiver, Debo Samuel, on a slant. And then what I like to do with this play um, is we're going to motion out Steve Smith. And then I actually really like to wheel the running back. So you see, we kind of have this double wheel action on the right side. It's going to allow us to beat the blitz really quick. And it's going to force them to have to use her uh, the right side. Another thing you could do if you want to is you could actually put Steve Smith on an out route and be able to attack coverage even better. But what you're going to see right here is if it is zone coverage, this, um, this post route on the left side, as long as it's not a cover four, he will be open all the way to the sideline. Now, if it is a cover four, as you saw right there, let me show you what you can do to attack it. Because this is really the one thing that people will do when you start to go to gun tight, is you will get a heavy dosage of the cover four. So if you're getting a lot of cover four, you just want to throw this ball right at that point right there. And you can see how that can kind of sit into um, a unique position. Now, another thing that you can do um, against cover four is your slant route is gonna be wide open as well. So depending on how they're gonna user this, um, you are gonna have your slant uh, to the outside. Another little quick tip is you can put Cooper Cup on a fade. Sometimes this will help draw that cover four a little bit better. As you can see right there, now we can actually get the ball to the left side and we're able to attack the cover four. Now, as I said, cover four is really the only defense in the game that is going to stop this play. Now, let me show you why that is a little bit problematic for your opponent. If we go to this play PA cross, and I talked about this a couple of days ago, if we go to this play PA cross, it's going to look fairly similar, right? We're still in gun tight. And what you're going to notice is Taysom Hill is going to basically split the cover four up the seam just like that so cover four is actually kind of a dangerous concept in my opinion uh to be running against gun type because it does have a lot of cover four beaters which we talk more about in the ebook but uh, this play is really uh designed and very powerful against man coverage so i'm going to show you this against man to man so we talk about man coverage, a couple things with tight. Really, this running back route is one of the better routes in the game. You see it can beat right there, but this post is so good. It is probably the best man beater. Um, it's at least a top five man beating route in this game. So you see there we're able to attack um, man to man coverage with that. Now, I want to kind of give you a scenario. Let's say that their user decides, hey, I've got to stop the post route because it's the big play money route on this play. So they're going to go and try to defend this post. What you're going to have then is your motion or your quick slant right here to Debo Samuel is going to kind of get into a soft spot um, against man coverage. And really, when you pair it with this wheel route uh, to the running back, I do think it makes it very valuable. Now, again, another thing I want to quickly reiterate here is you can put Smith on a flat and motion him out like this. This is going to give you kind of a little bit more, I think, clarity. Uh, in terms of your reads and your progressions, you're going to see now the slant gets a little bit more uh, space. Now, I want to revisit cover four for just a second uh, or just zone coverage in general. If you put that outside height receiver or that outside right receiver on a flat and you motion him out, they're going to assume he's probably on a streak. Uh, but what you're going to notice here is against cover four, now I have this little high ball to the back in the seam. But the other thing that I have is what I'm going to show you with this slant and really why I believe that there is some value to putting uh, Steve Smith on a 
flat. So if they are in cover four, um, you know, and they're stopping your wheel and they're stopping your flat, then if you wait on it just a second, you're going to see that the slant gets into a really soft spot on the zone. Cover four by nature is a drop eight coverage. And so they're going, you're going to typically have a decent amount of time to be able to get that route open. Now, let's talk about a couple of other zones real quick. One of the ones that's very popular is cover three. So against cover three, you're going to see a little bit more clarity in terms of how this play is going to just simply attack zone coverage at a really high level. You're going to see that this outside third defender on the left side is going to suck inside to the post, and it's going to leave, or it's going to second side of the streak, and it's going to leave the post route wide open over the middle of the field. Now, again, let me talk about zone for just a second. If they decide that their user needs to go defend the post route, then what we're going to see with this play is you're going to notice that now my slant gets into a really interesting position. You're going to see here that my slant route late in this play is going to get open just like it does against cover four. Really, really good little route. And the last coverage that I want to go over with you today is cover two. And the main reason why is because if they do decide to run cover two, which I don't think a lot of people like to run cover two against tight, but some people do, um, you're going to notice that this route to Steve Smith should be, with a free form to the outside, a pretty nice little play for you. This also allows you, again, to beat a lot of the meta blitzes because a lot of meta blitzes are sin five or sin six. So in this example here, when we motion... When we motion Steve Smith out, not only is he in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, but now they're really out leveraged to defending this running back quick throw, which is an incredible piece of this play. So if they blitz you, typically your running back's gonna be wide open to the flat, and then you also have your slant post concept over the middle of the field. I wanna thank you for watching this video, and if you wanna get more uh, on the gun tight, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you can get my full gun tight offensive ebook. By becoming a member, you're gonna get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So thanks for watching the video and make sure to go down to the description and sign up for the patreon down below